It's not only the ancestral home of our people. I look at it as it's our way of life. Everything that we do is coming from the water. We gather the clams, the crabs, the fish, the oysters, the sea urchins, everything that we gather is our food of our people. Right now, they're proposing to locate a coal port there. Uh, they would bring in coal from uh, Wyoming, from Montana. They'd dump it there, maybe 50 to 60 million tons a year on top of our sacred sites. It will pollute the air, the water, the land. The coal's extremely full of mercury and arsenic. It's uh, carcinogenic. It will cause cancer and it will poison the surrounding environment. So the quality of life will decrease not only for the tribal people, but also the surrounding uh, non-native communities. We, as the Lummi Nation, have stood up and worked with other Indian nations in the Pacific Northwest to say that there's no way we'll ever support or authorize or allow this coal port to be developed. That's our mission. As a woman, as a life giver, it's my first, uh, my first call of action is to make sure that the land is sustainable and that my children live in a, a place where they can thrive and grow and be connected to the earth. It's an absolute necessary to protect the Salish Sea. That's where we travel on. These were our highways and it still is today. Sometimes you see the, the oil and sometimes you see the garbage in our waters. It's heartbreaking because that's not, not who we are as people and that's not how we should leave our next generation with polluted waters and toxins. I go to the Creator and I give thanks to the Creator for what I have and what I am and, and the health that I have. But most of all, I ask the Creator for forgiveness of the people that came to this land in your name come and took away our people from our, our villages, took our children away, took our land away, took our language away. I pray for forgiveness for those people that did this in God's name. With this, Akansas and it's a Haishka, it's a Huyadna Kwakwa, a Tiasquale, Haishka.